students today is 2nd april 2017 and today is the je main exam so now is the time to discuss the je paper we will be discussing code a mathematics starting from question 61 so let's begin question number 61 the function f from the set of real values to the closed interval minus 1 by 2 to 1 by 2 defined as fx equals x upon 1 plus x square is and four options are given to us so in this question we need to check whether the function is injective or surjective or both right so let us begin with the solution and let us write down the function fx fx equals x upon x upon 1 plus x square and firstly we are going to check whether the function is injective or not so we can conclude from the statement or from the fact that if the function is strictly increasing or the function is strictly decreasing then we say that the function is 1 1 or the function is injective firstly let us do the first derivative f dash x which if we solve it we are going to obtain 1 plus x square the whole square and in the numerator we are going to get 1 minus x square 1 minus x square right now f dash x we have found out as 1 minus x square upon 1 plus x square the whole square let us find out the critical points so the points are minus 1 and 1 if we take any value greater than 1 then the sign of f dash x will be negative if we take any value between minus 1 and 1 it will be positive and if i take any value less than minus 1 the sign of f dash x will be again negative so from this observation it is clear that the function is not strictly increasing nor it is strictly decreasing so in some part of the domain it is decreasing in some part of the domain it is increasing so it is not injective so fx is not injective is not injective now we will be looking for the surjective we will be checking whether the function is surjective or not so what we do we equate the given function as y and what is the function it is x upon 1 plus x square is equal to y on simplifying we will obtain y x square minus minus x plus y is equal to 0 so it is a quadratic equation in variable x and this is only quadratic if the leading coefficient of x square which is y not equal to 0 and we know that x are the values from the set which is the set of real numbers so this parabola will be giving us real roots for d greater than equal 0 so discriminant is b square minus 4ac which is 1 minus 4y square should be greater than equal 0 it should yield us the real roots so this is possible when y belongs to the interval minus 1 by 2 to plus 1 by 2 excluding 0 excluding 0 and now we will check whether y can give us zero let us find it out if y equal zero so this implies x is equal to zero and yes x belongs to the set of real values so zero belongs to the set r so definitely range is equal to range is equal to minus 1 by 2 to 1 by 2 and that is the co domain of the function co domain this implies that the function fx is 
surjective right so the function fx is surjective surjective so the option which is correct is option 2 which is the function is surjective but not injective so the correct answer is option 2 option 2 is correct option 2 is correct now let's take up the next question question number 62 if for a positive integer n the quadratic equation x into x plus 1 plus x plus 1 into x plus 2 plus so on up till x plus n minus 1 into x plus n equals 10 n has two consecutive integral solutions then the value of n is equal to so firstly we are going to expand the given expression and we will try to write the quadratic equation in a much compact form so we can write it down if I expand this it will become x square plus x and from here we will get x square plus 3x plus 2 and so on so from each and every term we will be getting x square and in total there are n terms so we will be obtaining n x square plus if I take x common then we will be left with 1 from the first term 3 from the next 5 from the third and so on up till 2n minus 1 the last term will be 2n minus 1 because the total number of terms is n and finally we will be left out with 1 into 2 which we will get from the second term 1 into 2 from the third term we will be getting 2 into 3 and so on and so on we will be obtaining and that is equal to 10n that is equal to 10n now we can write it as n x square x into this sum is equal to n square which is known to everyone and this sum is equal to n minus 1 into n into n plus 1 by 3 is equal to 10n if we divide with n we will be obtaining x square plus n x plus n minus 1 into n into n plus 1 upon 3 n this n and n will get cancelled minus 10 equals 0 because we have divided already with n right so on further simplification we will be getting x square plus n x plus n square minus 31 by 3 is equal to 0 so we have obtained the compact form of the quadratic equation now it is given to us that it has consecutive integral solution it means if alpha and beta are the roots of this quadratic equation then the difference of the roots will be equal to 1 as the solutions are consecutive integers so alpha minus beta which is root discriminant by the coefficient of x square that is a equals 1 that is root d by a a is 1 is equal to 1 on squaring on both sides we get d equals 1 discriminant equals 1 so we can find the value of discriminant from the obtained quadratic equation that is n square minus 4 by 3 n square minus 31 is equal to 1 if you simplify this we will be getting n square is equal to 121 or simply the value of n is equal to 11 so the correct answer to this question is n equals 11 which is option number third so the third option is correct option 3 moving to the next question that is question number 63 let omega be a complex number such that 2 omega plus 1 equals z where z equals root minus 3 so let us solve it a easier one so 2 omega plus 1 equals z and z we already have as root minus 3 which is equal to root 3 iota so we can write the value of omega from the given equation as minus 1 plus root 3 iota by 2 
and we know this is the cube root of unity this is the cube root of unity cube root of unity right so what will be the value of omega to the power 7 as it is involved in this determinant omega to the power 7 kidna hoga omega to the power 6 into omega omega to the power 6 will be 1 so it is simply omega so the given determinant can be simplified as follows it is 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 then 1 minus omega square minus 1 will be simply omega why because we know 1 plus omega plus omega square equals 0 as omega is the cube root of unity this is omega square this is 1 omega square this is omega equals 3k and let us do the elementary transformation let us transform c1 to c1 plus c2 plus c3 if we do so if we do so we will be getting 3 this will be 0 0 again we will be getting 1 omega omega square as we have not changed this columns omega square omega equals 3k just simplify this determinant and get the answer that's it so it is 3 omega square minus omega to the power 4 is omega equals 3k 3 and 3 are getting cancelled just simplify it omega square is minus 1 minus root 3 iota upon 2 minus of minus 1 plus root 3 iota by 2 is equal to k so the value of k if we solve it we will be getting it is minus root 3 iota equals k or k is equal to minus z so the correct answer is k equals minus z which is option 4 the correct answer is option 4